Good day, here we go. This is the course in 4430 Multimedia. The course learning objectives are the following. To present concepts in multimedia and to acquire the management techniques of the multimedia in diverse applications. The prerequisites are simple. You have to have a good programming skill and you have to have a clear mathematical mind in order to understand the concepts. As the course outline shows, uh, we see chapter one, introduction to multimedia, chapter two, digital representation of graphics and image, uh, fourth representations of graphics and images and video and all the visual content we need to study a little bit in chapter three colors in images and video so she says uh, referring to color science but we will use the color systems specially made for images and video in chapter four we will study fundamentals video in chapter six we will study the lossless compression algorithms used to compress the size of the data without any loss. In chapter 7, we see the lossy compression algorithms. So there are algorithms that compress the data and uh, by which we lose some of the content, but it's not a very big deal because these contents are usually not perceived by the humans. Uh, ma the most uh, big and um, most important example is the uh, JPEG standard. In this chapter 7, we will study in, um, in detail. In chapter 8, we will be seeing uh, the completion, the, the next thing, which is the MPEG coding for video. And in chapter 9, we introduce a very big and important domain, which is image processing. And this chapter will be an uh, introduction to the image processing. Tutorials will be around mastery of techniques for handling and processing of media streams with MATLAB. As textbooks, we will be using these two. The first one is the main one. It is called Fundamentals of Multimedia. And be aware, it's not Multimedia Fundamentals. That one is another book. We will be using the Fundamentals of Multimedia book for Lee, Drew, and Liu. This book is very important in the multimedia domain. And it is now in its second edition. Its first edition was issued in 2004 and it was considered very, very important. For the last chapter, as I already told you, we will be introducing digital image processing. So we will use also as a textbook the Bible of this uh, digital image processing, which is uh, digital, digital image processing for Gonzales and Woods. They have other books such as digital image processing in MATLAB. Also, we can use them. Uh, we will see each other twice a week, uh, whether it was virtually as offline, uh, offline lecture and online lecture. And we, I will put the resources for you through Moodle or through Google Classroom. We will execute together the interesting and beautiful labs using MATLAB. I advise you and I recommend that you install MATLAB in order to be able to reproduce the labs. I will not be communicating code, although I will be shooting and recording the way I code so that you can reproduce it. But if I give you the ready to wear good, I cannot guarantee that you will have the effort to reproduce it. So instead of giving you the program, I will be showing you how to write it in detail. So you, you will see the program on my screen, on my screen, but you will not take it ready to execute. You will, you will be writing it again. Here we go, we will begin by the chapter one, which is entitled Introduction to Multimedia. 